Tropical Storm Harold has officially made landfall. Got about 35 mile an hour winds, a lot of rain coming in. Just wanted to come out and show you guys what we're dealing with right now. It's not too terrible. Hopefully the audio is not bad, but it's it's got a pretty good gust out here. All right, that's a little, little windier than I thought it was gonna be, but it is just pouring down this way, all blowing towards the south now. It's just spinning around in circles. <laughs> yeah! You will only get this with South Texas Roots News Network, people. What up, guys? We're on hurricane watch. <laughs> hurricane watch? It ain't quite to that level yet. <laughs> Tropical storm watch? I don't know, they keep saying cyclone, tropical storm, depression, everything else, and all over Facebook, I see people down here showing screenshots of uh, the storm getting ready to hit. Uh, I've heard that uh, Rivera ISD is closed down tomorrow. I heard that Ricardo ISD is, and I'm sure that other local schools are gonna be shut down as well, because it's supposed to come in tonight around four or five, I believe. Or two is what I heard. Uh -huh. Who knows, we're not experts, but uh, it'll, come in sometime this morning it's supposed to be all uh in the morning and then all throughout tomorrow it's supposed to be raining and windy and stuff so we battened down the hatches took the stuff off the front porch that would blow away and Ooh, it's, it's like the hurricane or the winds are inside here it's whipping Whip it. making my camera shake uh -huh. but uh I saw on uh, Facebook, they showed, ooh, this is a bumpy ride. Sorry, guys, we're going right into the eye of the storm. <laughs> Just kidding. Storm chasers. Yeah. Welcome to South Texas Roots, where... <laughs> Don't mind that big sun right right here. <laughs> no. It is. The sun is out, but it's still cloudy looking. Guns are out. Sun's out, guns out. You ever heard of that? No. Mm. Oh, you mean this, guns? Yeah. Oh. Take us to the gun show, baby. Are they redoing that church? Yeah. Want to go drive by real quick? I must do. They've uh, gutted a little church here that's local. I think Dad said he used to go there when he was a kid. It was a Methodist church. I don't know what it was before that, but um, they were using it up until what? Maybe, I don't know. Wow. Well, recently, what they did, Mom. Did they get to see that or no? Yeah. Hold on. There's nobody. It's a small town. We could stop in the middle of the road. Let me uh, pick this up real quick and flip it back. I don't get out much, and uh, I did not realize they were doing that. That's awesome. I mean, are they tearing it down or are they redoing it? Well, they're well redoing it. it. What they did is they lifted it up they slid it over on some big beams with these big machines over here yeah and uh what they did is they put the looks like they put some piers down and then moved it right back over now they're gutting it and redoing it but it's cool. a pretty cool little church hopefully they don't get messed up in the storm i sure. doubt it will because it's not gonna be that serious but grandma crocker used to go to that church oops y'all know i think it may have cut off one or two words because i hit the switch button but anyways continue grandmother crocker used to go to this methodist church that is not granny crocker that you all know that was george's dad's mom my great grandmother she lived in the house we live in and then when she passed away we bought that house and added on but it's kind of neat to think about her she was an author you know she wrote lots of history not a lot but history of Rivera and things like Huckleberry like Finn uh, yeah she was really a good <laughs> that's the only books I know and Clifford the Big Red Dog but yeah we uh I promised Matt I was gonna go to the store and get some supplies for the uh, storm make sure we make it through it just in case uh, the power goes out it's not going to, it's not gonna be that serious at least I say it's not uh, it's, if anything it, it's gonna be about I don't know, 30 mile an hour winds up to 60 mile an hour winds and then some rain. So you excited to get some water back in that pond? So we're going, we are going to the local Dollar General. I am staying out in the car. He's going in. And uh, she just completely ignored that question I just asked. Let's guess if Jared will run into someone he knows in here. I'm going to say yes, he will. Park on this side. Don't park up front. Why? Because look, Damn. it's packed. Damn, everybody's over here getting their... Well, park we'll that see. way so nobody will come up to me. Hey, everybody. It's us, the Crockers. I'm not saying I'm that popular, but it's a small town and people like to visit. <laughs> That's true. All right, guys. I'm going to go and cut this off real quick. Unless you want to continue talking. I don't. It, it's going to be a while because this place is packed. But we'll check back in. I'm going to show you what all we got from the Dollar General for this little hurricane watch party that we're going to have. Before we drive. Man, I swear everybody in Rivera is, is at here? Dollar General. Then let's wait. There's something right behind you. Oh. So, uh, just had to pick up the bare essentials. Matt said we were running low on water, so I got a 
another case of water. This one should last us through this little storm. Y'all yeah. look, it's so crowded here. People are waiting for a parking spot. Well, hopefully this guy don't back into me. I am so grateful for the Dollar General. Heck yeah. I really am. It's a small place and oops, oh, there's somebody. Who is that? <laughs> What's oh, up, the Ed? electrical coming? It's, it's pretty much done now. We're uh, getting ready to start doing the plumbing and stuff. I was telling Jovita if you needed help, if you decided you wanted to put a three-way by your bed, oh yeah, let me know and I'll go help put that in. Okay. I said that'd be easier once you take your prosthetic off. We should you get to yeah. turn the light off right there instead of having to get up and go he across. He must be dude. Eddie. Yes. I'm Melanie. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, I was telling her. I said let him know if he needs help with any of it. I'm, I'm just at home. It's yeah. Crazy and those uh, those can of plants or the uh, lilies that you uh, gave me. At first they were starting to die off and then we got a little bit of rain not a, a while back and then I had the water men there shooting out yellow flowers yeah, everywhere. Mine are, they're coming up like crazy too and I've got more cantaloupes and watermelons coming up. So oh wow. Everybody's over here worried about the storm. I was like bring it. I know. I already got my, already got my beer so I'm ready. Shit I know. I do, I'm, gonna, so I'm gonna get. <laughs> Everybody's over here getting their last yeah, minute get my beer. beer and my smoke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh hey, if you need help I think just get the number from who we can come help you. Out. Okay. Well, thank thanks. Thank you. What's going on man? <laughs> hey. Did you record that? Yeah, it's been I recording. Thought, I thought so. Oh. So that would be Hovita's friend. Cousin? No, oh, that thought they friends. were related. No, he's uh, that's Eddie. He's the one that uh, gave me I those know, little can of lilies and yeah. Hey, you never know who you gotta run into, guys. I feel like I always run into somebody when I'm when I go here to the post office. Of course, it's a small town. It's like 600 people here, but is there? What in in the main part of Rivera, about 600 total. Out by the beach and everything, probably just under a thousand, maybe. That's pushing it, but. And I do not know everybody here. When I, you know, for a long time we did, and then people died off and people moved away, and I really don't know. I don't even know who lives at our local yeah. section. I mean, I've met a few people that watch the channel that stop by the house and say hi. Uh, Ed was one of them. Yeah. Met him through uh, him watching on YouTube and. Oh, Ed! I call him Eddie. Eddie, Ed. But uh. Yeah, uh, as you saw, we got our water. Everybody and, they, and their mothers going to, to ooh, that was shaky. Everybody's going to Dollar General to get their last minute beer. If that ain't a South Texas thing, I don't know what to tell you. That right there just screams South Texas. South Texas hurricane season. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go back. Uh, Matt and I are going to try to finish off the little bit of water we have left, and then uh, we'll have to start on the new one. So, anyway, I'm just kidding. I didn't even drink anything yet. This is the first time I don't drink and drive. No, Somebody will mention that. Well, I wouldn't just sit here with you if you did. Yeah. I'm a weenie, by the way. I will admit it. If, if I even had like a sip, I won't be driving. That's, that, that's, that's a good thing. A, yeah, that's not a weenie. That's being responsible. I am a responsible drinker. When it comes to drinking and driving, I don't do it. So, anyways, I know I'm explaining myself to you guys like y'all need to know. You were explaining to me and they just overheard. Yeah. Way to eavesdrop, guys. <laughs> so, anyways, we're going to get back. Uh, I'm going to throw some clips in real quick of some of the wind whipping around around the yard and stuff. And then uh, we'll just gradually film throughout the evening and then into tomorrow so stay tuned and wish us luck see y'all later It's pretty windy out here. They said it's supposed to be about 35 mile an hour winds, but some of the gusts are a little bit heavier than that, I think, down here. It seems just a little windier down here than it was over there that they showed. But the eye of the storm is south of us, so we're getting all the heavy rain just north of the eye. And as you can see, it's, it's whipping around pretty good, so. Not 
a lot of traffic out either, surprisingly. There was one other vehicle over there when we went to, to Baffin Bay, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully I'll look at the audio and the video here in a little bit when I'm editing it. Hopefully it comes out good, so we'll find out here in a bit. They just come to different spurts, just the different bands of the, the storm. What's up, people? We're out here live at Rivera Beach at Baffin Bay. Tropical storm, Harold has officially made landfall. Got about 35 mile an hour winds, a lot of rain coming in. Just wanted to come out and show you guys what we're dealing with right now. It's not too terrible. Hopefully the audio's not bad, but it's it's got a pretty good gust out here. All right, that's a little, little hit windier than I thought it was gonna be, but it is just pouring down this way all blowing towards the south now. It's just spinning around in circles. <laughs> yeah! You will only get this with South Texas Roots News Network, people. All right, guys, so I'm back home now. Just got back from Baffin Bay. Uh, we're right in the middle of the eye. Uh, I was mistaken earlier. We looked on the news and they said that the eye is coming right over us. So it actually hit the little town just south of us called uh, Sarita. So we're just north of it. Look at this, guys. We actually have water in the pond. Very excited to see that. All that hard work we did out there is paying off. Uh, this is just the first half of the storm that's come through uh, back this way. It's really, really dark to the north and it's just spinning around. So uh, once again, that's more water than I thought we were gonna get. Like I said, I thought we were just gonna have a little bit of water on this side, but it damn near has almost the entire bottom part filled in so far. But Anyways, we're going to continue to film throughout the day. Uh, just update you guys on what's going on. It's not everybody's cup of tea. Some people care, some people don't. But hey, it's my life and that's what's happening right now. So anyways, this is more for all the locals around here in case they want to check out what's going on on YouTube as far as a uh, Tropical Storm Herald. So stay tuned. That wind's starting to pick back up. So the pool has pretty much met its limit. It's filled to the brim. We get a little more rain, it's gonna start overflowing. So I'd say maybe another half inch or so and then that thing's gonna overflow. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna head back in. Stay tuned for what else we get into. All right, guys, uh, it's later in the day. Looks like a normal day now. It's nice and calm. There's gonna be a few rain bands coming in uh, throughout the night and then tomorrow. So shouldn't be too much, but once again, we got, I don't know, maybe three quarters of the pond full. Don't let it fool you guys. It's only maybe six inches deep at the most right now. But uh, anyways, I do have some bad news. You're gonna have to stay tuned for the next video. My, uh, my shed to house, I have a lot of issues with it after the storm and that's not clickbait. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.